everyone. So, how to get the answer to any question. <laughs> that is what we are talking about today on Empowered Thursday. This is Coffee Chat with Danny. Hello, replayers. Stay tuned because I am going to tell you how to get the answer to any question that you have. So, Welcome to Coffee Chat with Danny, where we are live every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, bringing you tips, tools, and inspiration to help you become the empowered lady boss that you were born to be. For those of you that don't know me and are new to the page, how's it going? My name is Danny. Um, I am live here. Um, I am the owner of Be Amazing Consulting, where we develop business skills in female entrepreneurs. I help my clients get clear, focused, and a plan of action to help reconnect to themselves so that they can go out and communicate the beautiful mission that they were born to be here to do. So, today is Empowered Thursday. Empowered Thursday has come to be one of my favorite days of the week, and that's because I get to share with you a tip, a tool, an idea, around something to, to help you empower yourself to unlock that potential that is inside of you so that you can go out into the world and be that empowered lady boss. So today I wanted to talk about questions. But before I do that, <laughs> grab your coffee, tea, water, cleanse, protein shake. I don't care what you're drinking. Grab that and let's get started. Ah, so here's the thing. Our minds are marvelous. This week in Mindset Shift and Reboot, this was lesson number three, I talked about the secret genie. And the secret genie is all about learning a picture of our mind. Because if we don't have a picture of something, we simply can't understand it fully. We learn in pictures. We think in pictures, right? It's one of the things that happens when we're little, little babies. You know, we see something and our parents immediately tell us the name of that, right? But it's the visual aspect that gets implanted into the cells within our mind, okay? Or within our brain um, and they're, they're brought to life by our mind. So... One of the things that amazes me, there's so many things that amaze me about our mind, but one of the things that amazes me is it is actually the very first Google. <laughs> if you go looking for the answer to a question right now, what do you do? Most likely you go to Google, right? Let me know if that's what you thought below. Google. I hear it all the time. Um, it's become like this adjective, right? Just Google it. <laughs> Everybody says that, just Google it. And it's absolutely true. Google is a great resource of information. However, there is, a, there is something inside of us, our mind, that actually is the very first Google. It is the very first search engine that we created or that we have as humans, but, Many of us don't use it. Many of us don't even realize it. So you might be thinking, okay, how is my mind a search engine? Well, your mind is a search engine because it is constantly taking information in through our five senses, right? See, touch, hear, taste, smell. It is taking all of that information in and it is storing that information in our mind somewhere, right? We're able to recall information. We're able to have memories. Um, you know, we're able to be um, a cause, a feeling, or emotion based on a scent, right? Based on a word, based on a song, right? We're 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 our mind is so amazing that it stores all of this information, um, and this is information. For, for many, 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 many years, right? It doesn't matter how old you are. Your, your mind has been storing this information in your brain, in the cells within your brain, okay? So 
whenever, and this is funny, this is the funny thing. You might think, I haven't learned very much, Danny. You absolutely have because your, your subconscious mind's antennas have been open and taking that information in even when you weren't aware of it. You're unconscious, right? When you're, you're, you don't realize that you're taking in information, but you are. And if you think about it, um, I realized this a few years ago, probably, it's probably been about two and a half years now where I completely stopped watching the news. And this was the news I watched every single morning since I was like, I don't know, as far back as I can remember, like five years old. Right. So we're talking over 30 some odd years of watching the news. It was so ingrained in me to do that as a habit that it just I just did it. Right. I didn't realize that even though I was just in the background, it was background noise that I was taking in that information into my subconscious mind and it was causing certain feelings, certain actions that I started to do simply based on just that information coming into me. Okay, so we have tons of information that is locked up inside there, right? But the thing is, is we don't ask our mind the question. We go looking to other people, to other sources, to get the answer to the information that we are seeking. However, that information is already inside of you. I know, right? You're like, what? Yes, it is. It absolutely is. You may be thinking to yourself, I don't have the answer to every single question. No, you don't. However, you can start with yourself and then go out and explore the next step. Instead of immediately going to Google, immediately going to your best friend, immediately going to your biz bestie, you want to go to yourself first. So let's say that you're looking to create something new. Maybe it's a free download, an opt-in. Maybe it's you wanna change something on your website. Maybe you're working on your mission or your vision statement and you're, you know, you're struggling, right? Because you're not quite sure what to do. So what do we generally do? <laughs> we generally will go and like, do some, do some Google searches, how to find your mission, how to find your vision, right? Or we'll go talk to our biz bestie and be like, I don't know what to download, what should I download, right? Here's the thing. If you ask yourself that question, your mind will search for an answer. When you tell yourself a question, your mind is already looking for that information. Okay, where is it, where is it, let me find it, let me find it, and it will throw you something. The thing is, is we often don't allow ourselves to ask the right question. We tend to ask disempowering questions, questions that don't help us, that cut us off, that stop us in our tracks. That is what generally tends to happen. I see my clients do it. I see other lady bosses out there doing it. And I even actually saw my love do it last week. He was struggling with a certain situation. It was in real estate and he was struggling really hard. And there came a point where he allowed himself to cut off all possibilities. He couldn't figure out what his next step should be. And instead of asking himself, what options do I have? He completely closed himself off to only one option. And in that, he was trying so hard to make this one thing work. Like this has to work, it, has, it can only be this, there's nothing else. And what did he do? He completely allowed his mind to shut off any possibilities. Once he realized that he had done this, right? He opened up his mind, bam! He was able to come up with five different options that he now had. The thing is, is we always want to make sure that we are allowing ourselves choice. We always have choice. We can always look for other choices. We don't all, we don't have just one option. We have many, many options. Some that are great options that are going to help us and some that are not. The thing is, is you want to ask yourself, what is it that I really want? 
What is it that I want to get? What is it that I want to do? What is it that I want to be? These questions empower you, right? They're not deflating you in any way. They are empowering you. The second thing with though that with the second thing with that though is <laughs> that was a tongue twister there is we often don't allow ourselves to hear it. So first, we want to make sure that we're asking ourselves the question, right? But second, we want to make sure that we're allowing ourselves to hear it. Earlier, I mentioned that when I watched the news, right, all my life pretty much, there was a background noise. I could not start my morning, my morning without noise, without music, without the TV, without a video playing. Something had to be on. I could not begin my day without having this noise. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that music isn't great. I'm not saying that video isn't great. Those are absolutely great things to have and to do, and I have them in my morning routine. However, I also allow myself to have quiet time <laughs> where there's nothing in the background. And that was really, really scary for me. And I think for a lot of years, it was because I didn't wanna to listen to what was going on in my mind. I was scared of what was gonna come out that I shut it down. I allowed all of this noise, this background noise to come into my mind and fill it up so that I didn't have to hear it, that I didn't have to listen. And it was because I was in a place that was not good. And I knew it, deep down inside, we know these things, but for whatever reason, whatever choices we've made, whatever perspective we're coming from, we think we, we can't get out of it. Trust me, you can. I did, I know. And so as I began to have more silence in my life, whether I'm driving, whether it's when I'm at home, whether it's when I'm working, wherever I'm at, if I can have this silence, right? Sometimes I just go to the park and listen to the birds as I'm working. It allows me to open up and hear my own voice, my own thoughts, right? That's why meditation is something that people always encourage you to do, right? It's because of that. It's because we then have the ability to listen to ask our mind something and listen to our voice, listen to what is inside of us. So I wanna challenge you today to take some time to be in silence, to think about what it is that you are struggling with, what it is that you want an answer to, listen to the voice inside of you, ask yourself what it is that you want to figure out, and then allow yourself to be open to hear it. Now. I'm not saying that you can't have music on in the background. I'm not saying that you can't have the TV or be watching a video. You can absolutely do that. I, I'm able to do that and it works just fine. But I can tell you, when you take just five or 10 minutes to ponder the idea in silence, to ask yourself the question and then allow the silence to be around you and listen to that voice inside you, you will get your answer. Trust me, it happens every single time I do it. All right, ladies, that is what I wanted to share today with you for Empowered Thursday. I hope you are empowered today. Go out and be the amazing woman that you were born to be. Have a great day, have a great weekend, and I'll see you back on Monday for Monday Motivation. Remember to be you and to be amazing. Bye.